So this will be a brief demonstration of how to bring master files that you've created instead of ones that were generated by WBPP. How do you tell WBPP that these are my master files? There used to be a checkbox that said, use these as master files. That doesn't exist. So uh, there are a couple of ways of communicating this information to WBPP. Let me first tell you how it normally works. Normally what happens is you may have data that looks like this, right? And then you'll generate um, uh, the masters because you're gonna be giving WBPP at some point the raw files, raw biases, raw darks, raw flats, and then it generates masters. Those masters you can then save and go forward with, um, continuing to use those. And the reason that uh, WBPP knows what a master is, we always find them here in the directory called master. When we output our files, we'll have a calibrated directory for the lights and the flats, um, we'll have log, but we'll always have this uh, master directory made if we give it raw uh, calibration data. And this is where we'll find the masters. You'll see the word masters literally written in the file name. That's actually one way that you communicate this to WBPP. And I'd like to show you an example of that just so you can see how to load a file that is not originally, doesn't have a word master in it. We can convert any file to a master by, uh, uh, by doing the following. I'm going to go to the, the raw data. And uh, one of these, these are, uh, this is a flat field image here. That's all this is. So this is a red flat field image that I've opened. It looks like a flat, right? But if I want to convert that image to a master, all I need to do is write the word master here like that. So this is one way. I'm going to show you another way. So I've written the word master there. And uh, now if we go to WBPP, I don't know what I may have. I don't have anything here. Good. And we say add files. I go to the same list. One of these, now I, you know, it's going to be in this list somewhere, star, master, star. There it is. Now it's not actually a master file. All I did is I changed the, uh, uh, the name here. It will load that file as a master flat file. You can see it's loaded as a, as a master because it's all in bold here, indicating that this is a master file. If I continue to add more files, they will not be masters, but they will fall into the appropriate, uh, let's see, those are Gs, yeah. They'll just come in as not masters, but the master will show up here as a bold uh, group in and of itself. So that's one way, but here's the thing that people have complained about. Um, I mean, the it's only been, the script has only been out for 48 hours, but the complaint is the following. Let me reset this. What if we had a thousand files? What if I wanted to make um, all of these many, many files in a particular place, um, all masters? You can do that because the way the WBPP works is not only does it read the file name in searching for master, but it also reads the path name. So if you uh, create your own master folder, and it doesn't need to be just master, you can call it anything you'd like. So I'm going to make a new folder here, and I'm going to call it my great master folder. I mean, it's something silly, right? But it has the word master in it. And I'm just going to put some files in there. Now, what am I going to put in there? Well, I'll just put in some, uh, let's put in some, a bias, a dark, one bias, one dark, and one flat. So I'm going to say copy. And I'll just put them in here. I'm not going to even change their name at all. So there they are. Go, uh, Yeah, there they are. So we'll go to weighted batch preprocessing. Let's make sure nothing is here. Yeah, we're still empty, add files. And now we'll go into my great master folder, highlight these, and it loads them as master files. So we don't need to change the name of anything. We can just put them in folders that are called masters. And that's another way to communicate to WBPP uh, that these are masters and they will load in the control panel as master files that you can use to calibrate your data. 
So those are the two quick, simple, easy ways to get create master files uh, from ones that you've done. But of course, going forward, it's nice to be able to create the masters here in WBPP because, um, of course, in generating it here, we can be sure of something that might not be true, depending upon how you created your masters. They may not play well uh, with uh, the way that WBPP works in the sense that you have to have, say, master darks that have the bias and things like that. That's an extra complication that I'm not going to discuss here. Um, but you can be certain that when you generate the master files through processing here in WBPP, everything's going to work and make sense.